but gotta get into our next game here. Spawning, I don't know why I hit pause. Spawning here in the top right in pink. He's down 1-0 in this series. Needs to win. From Team CT6, it is our Terran player, Saber. <laughs> and the bottom left-hand corner, representing Lucky13, the purple Protoss player up 1-0 currently. It is Kane backwards, but what he actually wants to be called is Enak. I wonder if his name is actually Kane. That would make sense. I've never even caught that. It's like that guy who always plays Nestor tournament, SV Rush tournaments. Uh, what is Sol oh, Silk? Oh, Paul. Oh, what? I was going for kills. That guy. Oh, kills. Yeah. There's Slick, and then there's a there's also Loopnor, which is Ron Paul. <laughs> That's um, awesome. And I can't. Yeah, I can't even think of the other anyone else that has their name just backwards. I don't know why my voice cracked. I'm 24 years old. Jesus Christ. It's okay. Some of us hit puberty later than others. These things happen. It's okay. <laughs> I'll ask you for, for guidance later on. Okay. Uh, so, okay, just quickly, this first pylon here from Enac, it's it's completely blocking the gas. That gas is not going to be used in this no, game. Not. Yeah, it, well, it's not completely blocking, but that's... Yeah, well. That's blocking it quite a bit, though. It's not blocking it, it's fine. Are you sure? I don't know, that seems like that, that kind not of enough. screwed the pathing. Okay. Okay, well, you, you see, like... He even takes okay, it first. Look at the furthest right mineral patch. Look at the furthest right mineral patch in, in the Protoss space, and look at the third from far right. That's about the difference. It's, like, not significant at all. Okay. It just seems like that would that would block things off a little bit. I put my spawning pool, like, I put my spawning pool there all the time. The basic point of this is just to block off your mineral line. Yeah, okay. And, Actually, uh, zooming in and seeing that, it looks like, like this will be able to take. go pretty easily. Yeah, okay. So ignore that completely. They do have to dance around a little bit, but that's not even a difference. I've gone over that before. <laughs> and they really like this building placement. Yes! Scout uh, that SCV! Actually, I take it back. It's actually a Spurs game. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense for this America. Fucking loves the Spurs. You're also in so, Texas. Uh, and it looks like so. cool. The Cybernetics Core is act this is a cool. This is cool. So the Cybernetics Core completely blocks us off. So the Reaper actually can only enter from like this right side. Yeah. That's the only place it can get behind the mineral line. It's a really smart play, especially knowing the Reaper's probably going to be coming up that area. And well, it is a Reaper opening, so not going to be seeing anything. Uh, SCV is scouting for proxies. Didn't scout in, in his base at all, but feels pretty safe. So going to be able to proceed with the opener. Leaves one guy on gas, which is something we normally see. And the Nexus goes down after skipping the Zealot from Enac. Going for the Mudge Core right afterwards. A very, very greedy play coming out from uh, Enac this game. Yeah. He should be okay with it. I mean, he's just going to be able to contend with his first Reaper, which would be a bit of an annoyance. He's only had the Mothership Core to deal with it. Uh, but Mothership Core should be enough, again, like you said, blocking this area off. I think it's definitely what he, was, he thought. This means he can trap this Reaper in a nice location, or just completely deny it. So that works, too. Uh, he has seen the Natural Nexus, and he did get in with the SMV as well, so he's able to see a little bit, but he still hasn't actually but seen any of the tech. The third pylon. Yeah, he, actually seen, he hasn't seen any of the actual tech at all. It's got to be a bit of an annoyance here for Saber. If only he played a race with like flying supply depots that were free. Then it would have been a little bit easier. Uh, well, regardless, Stalker's going to come out. Reaper's going to be trying to come back into the... Yeah, no, right. thank you. No, Maybe thank you. Oh, out. No, just kidding. Oh, sneaky, 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 sneaky. So I'm getting there and see everything. That's nice. Well, there we go. Still doesn't see the actual cyber core, though. Uh, he's a robo. You never actually saw the cyber core. Maybe he didn't make it. Is. Nope. You don't need the cyber core to make the robo. Don't lie. I mean, he just made the stalker <laughs> out of a gateway without a cyber core? Nope. And nope. built the robo facility, too? <laughs> is that what he did, Ham? Yep. Is that what you're telling me? What That's how of, these things happen. Of, like, That's how that happens. What mode do I have to play in to get this? <laughs> to play in, uh, I don't know, brew bore. Makes sense. Oh. That's not true. I don't oh, care. Uh, one funny thing, actually. Where's my phone? So, in StarCraft Brood War, I played Protoss. And in Prude War, a Cybernetic score costed 200 minerals. And when I started playing StarCraft 2, I played Protoss for like 100 games or so. And before I started playing Terran. Um, but I just, I just never looked at the price for like almost any of the buildings that were in StarCraft Brood War. Because you know, I was like, oh, Pylon's the same, Assimilator's the same, Gateway's the same. And I just didn't look at anything else. I just I never knew that a cybernetics bar costed one fifty instead of two hundred and I always waited until two hundred <laughs> every time. For for a long time too. I'm talking like a year. Just cause wow. I, I mean I quit playing Protoss, so I, I don't know, I just 
Yeah, I never. And um, then when I when I learned that it was 150, it blew my freaking mind. <laughs> Whenever I, I I was so young when I played Brew War, I don't really remember too too much, and I don't I didn't do too much just one v one. I did a lot of just like those seven versus one comp stomps, or like big game hunters. Comp play. stomps, yeah. yeah. Get, get those stars on your profile on Battle.net. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's you log exactly. on, you create an account, and you don't have your five stars. Everyone in the chat room has five stars. You're like, oh god, I'm some sort of noob. Better join these comp stomps because that's <laughs> that's, that's how it works. Right to uh, right. start them. Yeah. That's how that well, works. Anyway, Stim Comet Shields coming up. Uh, the Stim looked a bit defensive, but since he went with the Comet Shields, he actually teched up with the extra barracks before the factory, as well as before any engineering base. He's going to be going for an attack pre Metavax. Um, normally, you would want to um, proceed this by just throwing a small fort, like a couple Marauders, maybe five, six Marines, just to try to bait out a Photon Overcharge, so it's a little bit more effective, but still, I think this will do a fair bit of damage um, because observers are coming out as well as a forge, as well as a twilight council. So the teching is pretty hard. No immortals or no real beef to this army. So we'll see combat shields is going to be done in 20 seconds. We'll see if he tries to bait a photon overcharge first. Right, he's definitely getting the photon overcharge, that's no, for sure. He, can, he, can, he might be able to snipe this nexus, because that's a, still a pretty beefy so army, yeah. He's pulling the workers to try to deal with this. There he goes. He's going to pull the workers, but that means he's going to lose a bunch of workers. Uh, kiting against all of this, that's a, that's a lot of damage that's done for that it. little amount of work, yeah. He's going to get sentries as well. This is not going well for Enak here. He may, he may still get the Nexus. He's going for it. He's trying to get the Nexus. He's going to get it. That is absolutely unbelievable. I can't... He, that's just straight bio. He had nothing else with that. Uh, Enak just a little bit too greedy with his with his play. He went for a bunch of extra gateways for actually making units. Uh, he just had nothing to actually defend against that. He didn't really scout either. He made the, yeah. the double observers, I think. He has two observers. It's he, has four, well, he has four observers? What the fuck? Well, that's, that's why he doesn't have word. he doesn't have any immortals or anything. That's why, because he has a bunch of reservers. He doesn't have the uh, <laughs> Robo Bay down. That's three hundred gas. That is that is a bunch. He's going for straight to Templar archives, actually. I, but <laughs> I just this that's, is the that's thing rough. too is instead of getting instead of getting observers, I'm actually a big fan of just littering pylons across map because it's a mineral oh, yeah. investment. It's also a potential attacking point and it's scouting, which. You really only need two observers. You need basically one at the front, which what it has, and then just one out in front of your base as well. And beyond that, I think that unit production out of the robot facility is just so vital, especially in this matchup. Yeah. I mean, Enoch, he's got plus one armor finish. He's got plus two on the way. He's going to have charge here. And I guess he's going to try to go for, like, charge lot Archon, but he's got such a low gas economy right now. Losing that base was so huge. He would like to be taking a third base now. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Uh, he's going to try to use these Templars somehow. He doesn't even have Storm in production, so... I, it's just a really bad situation here. It looks like it's probably... Yeah, it's going to be just an Archon and try to make a bunch of Zealots to deal with this, but uh, once the Medivacs hit and I think he can do everything it. else... He, this Immortal does a lot of work. Unless it gets sniped. Okay. He just has to look at that Marauder, and the Marauder <laughs> just... <laughs> tied. Overcharge does go down, so that's another 100 energy off. There's, there's going to be an Overcharge ready already. Um, for Enoch once again. Uh, he, these these massive amount of observers are going to be able to see absolutely everything, so if Saber does try to do any dropping into the Mavis or anything, he's going to see that, which he does see. He, does, he sees the pickup, so he can go prepare for this. Uh, he's going to be able to have an overcharge as well for that main base, which is going to be nice. Uh, but still, he just doesn't have much. I think he's going yeah, to use a High Templar to... Drop is scouted by observer number four. <laughs> high Templar's going to get a nice little feedback, so yeah. With the Stalker as well. So this could actually do it. turn things around pretty well. Do it. Oh, it gets one feedback. Doesn't get the second one, but it, do, it does force the drop away, so that, that's enough of a work for it. Uh, he doesn't have too many more vet, medevacs like, hey, right now. That's a good idea. He built the warp prism, so the warp prism's actually going up, and this is something I don't like, is that Saber's actually rallying across the map. Yeah. I think Terran actually has the easiest time dealing with things like this, because you usually have a constant stream of production, just a small group of units in your main base, unless you rally across the map like this. And It's going to probably bite him, bite him in the ass a little bit. Perhaps. He's, he, he does have a good amount of barracks, at least, so he can immediately turn those around and try to rally back home. Ooh, Dark Shrine. Uh, DT Shrine, really? Yeah, that's good. DT Shrine is a good thing. But now he's just got a bunch of zealots. Doesn't change the fact that he still doesn't have a third base. Yeah. It's going to be a long time before he gets a third base. Uh, I mean, Saber can sit over at this third base location and camp it out for a long time to deny any sort of ability for him to actually, you know, take that base for a long, long time. He actually saw the probe He really wants out. to kill this probe. Yeah. He stemmed his whole army for oh this Oh my probe. goodness. That's kind of sad. I mean, the War Prism still Got exists, it. so... 
that's still going to be a problem. Actually, another War Prism is in production, even. Uh, so, Enix is going to go full on harass mode. It worked out pretty well in last game. Uh, he's, he needs something to get back in this game. The third base is already down here for Saber, and he's already got it mostly uh, saturated, look at, too. Look at Vision, and then look at the mini-map for both players. Saber sees basically the whole map. He look, he's constricted to, like, his base, that one observing the War Prism. Yeah. Very difficult for him to know what's going on in the map. So this is a way to get map control back. There's an engagement at the same time, but the War Prism is dropping into the main base. But the bio is just proving to be really powerful. Charge is done at the very least, but now DT, one of them going into the natural, another one going into the main base. So they're going to get a lot of work for kills. He's like, this is what worked in the last game. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> another War Prism is going to be moving up as well. Yeah, DT is doing a bunch of work, which is nice. Door. Yeah, the sit bio up at the front here. There's no overcharge going down. There we go. Finally get an overcharge. Actually, all these zealots dip, jumping right into that. Gonna force this away because Saber was not able to kite really uh, at all for that engagement. And most of this bio is gonna get cleaned up. So Enoch, he's still taking a, took a pretty good engagement there. Uh, still only on two bases, yes. Uh, but he even up the worker count pretty well with those two DTs. He's got 12 worker kills now uh, compared to the 10 that were were done earlier by Saber. Uh, but still, not having the third base is a bit of an issue. Yeah. He's got Storm finished Besides at Storm. least, but he doesn't have really any gas. He's only got 167 gas in the bank right now. How many Templar does he have? He's got three Templar. Uh, he's warping it again in the main base, which is trying to get some work done, which would be nice. But there's a, there's a Marauder in here. Marauder's going to save the day. <laughs> totally. There's a second Marauder. There are a couple Marines, too. Yeah, there's actually a couple but DTs with the main army. Back. Well, I, I'm not sure what he's trying to do with that, that for. Really there are a couple good. DTs. Is there a Widow Mine? I can just heard a Widow Mine. Storm goes oh, down on the right side. There, yeah, Widow Mine's going down, doing a lot of work. Storm that actually oh, whips completely. Uh, this army is going to get cleaned up from both players. Actually, a couple more Templar. Well, they're coming for the back, but this army doesn't clean up. Thank the uh, DTs there. Can't see what you, you can't hit, what you can't see. It's got a bunch of medivacs left over right now. So these Warpins, once again, are doing a ton of work here for Enac. I think this even. he has like 10 medivacs right now. I think that just highlights the difference that he was missing in the last game. Yeah. Like his forces sustain so much better. Is he able to actually deal with all of this? Uh, uh, the two DTs are a bit of an annoying, but eventually he's going to really scan. Good. Well, they're good until they get Widowmine shots on them. What a scan. Widowmines take out the yeah, DTs. Yeah, that was but... uh, in the main base, by the way. There are six of them just absolutely annihilating the worker Goodness line. Goodness gracious. Saber is falling apart here. There's still no third base for Enac, though. Yeah. I mean, right now, look, the army's pledge right now. Enoch is only at 46 to the 82 of Saber. Granted, a lot of this of Saber's army is in medivacs. A ton of actually that is in medivacs. He's got, what is that, 11 medivacs right 11 now? Medivacs. Good lord. He does clean up the, the harassment, um, which is nice. You should probably try to clean up the War Prism. War Prism is warping a couple DTs down here near the third base. Uh, there's a bunker and a turret set up in a really nice position, however, so those are going to be doing basically no work. And this army supply advantage is just continually getting in Saber's favor. Uh, just that economy rolling so heavily in his favor. Like, the main base is, all, well, it's about pretty much mined out here for Enac. Uh, the natural also getting pretty low, uh, at least in total minerals left, uh, compared to the amount of workers he has over there. Uh, third base is on the way. He's going to try to get that up. So even in workers. Yeah, it's just this, this army supply really right now. This is really impressive from Saber, actually. 107 armies played at 42 right now. But that is That is a bit of a difference. Storms can only do so, so much. Especially when you only have, well, three. Well, he's got two technically right now. He's going to have a third here in a minute. Uh, and even with all the perfect storms in the world, it's got to be really difficult to deal with. A couple of mines are actually sprinkled into this army for Saber even. Uh, so he's going to be able to take this. Actually, again, this kind of situation I was talking about at the beginning of this where you can zone out your opponent's third base trying to defend that and go into the natural base, take everything out. Those mines are only going to do a lot more damage. Look how many mines there are. They're in kind of an awkward location, but... This do so much against these zealots as well. The storm's going to be going on into the observer spot, them, but they get all their shots off. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're that army's completely gone. gone. There we go. GG. Saber evens up the series here. It's going to be one to one. So really, we are going to get a game three. We are finally going to get a game three, actually, which is kind of oh, nice. No. 